Hey there. Are you hoarding old jeans that you can't fit or just don't wear anymore? Well, let me give you a few ideas on how to recycle them before you trash them or just continue hoarding them. In this DIY video, I'll show you how to make fabric ornaments using those old blue jeans you have and also a denim pocket keychain. Keep in mind that this tutorial is no sew friendly. So anywhere that I hand stitched, you can substitute for just glue. Here are the materials you'll need. To start, I used one of the legs of the jeans and drew a freehand outline of a stocking. I cut that out and I actually just glued along the edges. So even though I glued it together and it's perfectly fine like that, as you can see, I still want to add a decorative stitching along the edges. You don't have to do this, this is optional. Actually, from here you technically have your stocking, but you can decorate it however you want to. I'll show you how I'm doing mine. Now I'm making a freehand outline of a small pocket to go on the front. I'm cutting out two panels at a time. I'm applying the tacky glue and I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit with my fingers, you can use a paintbrush, and it's just so the glue won't bleed through the fabric because I am putting them together to make the panel stronger. This is optional, but I'm using my pinking shears to prevent my raw edges from fraying, and those are the little tiny fibers that keep pulling off of the fabric. By the way, this project can also get a little messy, so I'm working on top of what I call my messy mat which is something that I do not care about getting stained and messed up. It also protects my floors from those teeny tiny fabric fibers. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. So instead of gluing this pocket on, I'm using my glue to make what I call a stitch line 
That way I don't have to sew it. But remember, don't sew the top edge. Now I'm just cutting out a small strip of fabric, which will be the loop that the stocking hangs by. Plain old glue works just fine to secure this also. Voila, there's your denim stocking. And feel free to embellish it more or do whatever you want with it. All right, here's another fun and super simple idea. I'm cutting out a heart shape from the pants leg of my old jeans. And I do want to make this smaller, so I'm sure I'll go back and make this shape a little bit smaller, but that's okay. It can be any size you want, actually, as long as you can fit it on the jeans. Again, I have a front and back panel, and this time I am going to actually stitch around the edges but again, keep in mind, you do not have to use needle and thread. You can just use glue around the edges. So essentially, we're just making a pillow, like what you may have learned in kindergarten. Stitch along the edges or glue along the inside of the edges, leaving a small gap to fill with stuffing. Here's the fun part. I have my polyfill stuffing and I will just keep filling this up until it's nice and plump. I will leave the name of this polyfill in the description box for you. Now it's time to close up with a few stitches. If you are using just glue, you may want to use some binder clips to hold it shut until it dries. Otherwise, with it being so plump with all of the filling inside, it'll come open. Now here's where I'm using the phrase to my advantage. I'm purposely picking out the little fibers to enhance the whimsical look. And you don't have to do this. This is just the look that I'm going for. All right, to finish it off, I'm just accenting it with a printed fabric, which is just a smaller heart shape. I'm not making a pocket, so I'm just going to glue it down
I almost forgot, but the last thing I did was add the loop so it can hang. And there you have it, your whimsical, crafty, recycled jean ornament. Who needs to buy ornaments anymore when you have old jeans? I'm saving these to go on my tree this year for Christmas. Okay, so enough with the plain old pants leg. Let's try something a little different. Cut out that tiny pocket within a pocket. We're gonna make this a keychain. It'll be good for coins. This little piece is going to be the loop. Using this fabric to cover up the imperfections on the back. There you have it, super, super easy project. I added a key ring and a strip of fabric on the back and I think it looks really cute. What a fun way to recycle. And you know, your kids can help you with all of these projects, so get creative with it. Soon, I will be bringing you a video on what I will do with this scrap piece. So please make sure you like this video and subscribe by hitting the button on the screen so I can continue to bring you more ideas and I do have more for you. I'd love to hear from you. Please share your comments below. Meanwhile, please check out this kids paper craft tutorial by Nobby Blues Adventures. Thanks for watching.